When we are considering the domain of a rational function, we must give special consideration to those values of x that make the denominator equal zero. That is the one way that a, do that a rational function will not exist, is if the bottom or the denominator is equal to zero. Using the skills that we developed in the previous unit, our, our consideration here is with the polynomial 2x squared minus x minus 10. We are looking for those values of x where that denominator is equal to zero. So we are solving the equation 2x squared minus x minus 10 is equal to zero. As it is a polynomial set equal to zero, we are looking to factor as our strategy for determining those values that we need to remove from the domain. The factorization of 2x squared minus x minus 10, and you could do this through the AC method or through trial and error, is 2x minus 5 and x plus 2. From this factorization, we get the two solutions, 5 over 2 and negative 2. These are the two values of x that need to be disqualified and are not in the domain of this function. If we want to write the domain of the function, we're going to say that x is an element of the real numbers such that x is not equal to 5 over 2 or negative 2. It may be that the domain simply stays all real numbers with no special consideration from the denominator. Looking at this rational function here, we're again going to consider x squared plus 36, wanting that to equal 0. While it looks like a difference of squares, we should note that this is not a subtraction sign in the middle. It is an addition sign. So we don't have a factoring pattern for the sum of squares. We don't have a factoring pattern for this polynomial, this binomial at all. The reason that we don't, one of the reasons that we don't, one of the key reasons that we don't, is we notice that there's this square right here and this plus sign. Because x squared is always going to be a positive value, or at least zero, we could say it's going to be at least greater than or equal to zero. And plus 36 is always going to contribute a positive val fa value. There's no way for this binomial to have a value of zero. The x squared is always going to contribute something non-negative. The 36 is always going to contribute something positive. We're always going to end up with a result that's positive and we can never be zero. So when we're considering the domain, we're not looking at this numerator at all. We are concerned only with the denominator. That's where our disqualifications are going to be. And here we don't get any because the value of this function is always go the bottom, the bottom of the, the value of the bottom function, excuse me, is always going to be positive. So here we just say that our domain is all the real numbers.